Socially distanced greetings to all you searcher anglers out there. This is Steve Carson on the deck of the searcher. We're getting ready to go out for a three-day trip. And there's there's a combination that you want to really have on these fall offshore trips that you don't necessarily always have in your arsenal, and that is a finesse live bait outfit for tuna. Now you probably all have something at home for calico bass or small fish in the bay or things like that. This is going to be a little bit different. We're going to have a 20 and maybe even something else that we'll talk about at the end. But this is your 20 pound finesse live bait outfit. And it's a small, I'm going to kind of show this to Kelly in the camera. It's a small conventional live bait reel, no level line. This happens to be the Pen Squall 2 15. Um, I've got it about filled up three quarters of the way up with braid and about a 50 yard top shot of monofilament on the top. 20 pound test. Not 25, 20. And then I've got about a four or five foot piece. Can't really see that not too well. Four or five foot piece of 20 pound fluorocarbon. And then the piece de resistance, a little fine wire that's an owner gorilla light number four hook. That is a small hook. And when the bait is not too good and or the fish are kind of finicky, that's what you have to have. Now, obviously, you're not going to use this for 100-pound tuna. It's not what this is for. But you're going to run into many, many schools of 15, 20, 30, maybe even 40-pound tuna. They just won't bite anything heavier than this. We wish they would, but they won't. So you got to make sure that you've got a very well-matched combo, a reel with a very good drag. If you're not sure how to set the drag, have one of the crewmen set it for you. You want to make sure that the fish can Take that drag out and run like crazy because that's what they're going to do. And make sure that your knots are perfect. Everything has to be perfect if you're going to catch a 30 or 40 pound tuna on one of these finesse rigs. But on the other hand, if you don't get a bite, you can never land anything. And some days, this is just the only thing they'll bite. Now, some days when the bait is not really not too good or the fish are really extra finicky and they're not too big and everything is perfect, you may even want to do this. And that is your 15 pound rig. And that is 15 pound test monofilament. Again, a four foot piece of 15 pound test fluorocarbon. That little tiny fine wire owner gorilla light hook. I bet, I bet that barely even shows up on camera. That's a small hook, but if you can't see it, neither can the fish. Plus your bait can swim a lot more easily with that. Now again, on this 15 pound test, are you gonna catch a, a, a 100 pound tuna or a 50 pounder? No, you're not. Okay, but lots and lots of schools. There's not any giant ones on there. Actually, last year in this very exact spot on the searcher, right where I'm standing on this exact rod and reel setup, I caught a 44 pound bluefin tuna on this exact setup because I couldn't get a bite any other way. So make sure anglers out there, when you're on the searcher or anywhere offshore, when the tuna are finicky and they're not too giant, then you've got a finesse live bait outfit and you can get your share.